Okay, welcome back. As I promised you, we are being joined by Maricela Akawa, who is the director of United Way 211. I call her the all-knowing Maricela because when it comes to community services that are available to you, um, you just have to call 211 and she can tell you anything. Her folks, her staff can tell you anything you want to know. Um, we especially wanted to have her here this segment this show because of the holiday seasons that are approaching Thanksgiving and Christmas and um, I want to ask you just before I forget are there still opportunities for people to receive assistance at Thanksgiving? For Thanksgiving right now there are some locations where people can get um, a hot meal so like Cherry Street Mission, Christ the King, Helping Hands of St. Louis and others I would just recommend to again dial 211 and find somebody somewhere in their neighborhood um, right now at this point, Christmas baskets, those applications have ended. So for next year, if people are interested in um, holiday baskets, Christmas or Thanksgiving around October, start dialing 211 to apply. Yeah, I, and I, I think you know shows like this one need to do a better job of sort of reminding people earlier in the year yeah. because those applications for Christmas baskets do start around October and by this time, they're pretty well gone. Correct. They're but there well are gone. many locations where people can go and get a meal with their family and be able to celebrate the holidays. And all of that is on United Way, on 211. Just dial 211, right? Just that mm -hmm. simple. Is there any fee to use 211? No, it's free. it's a free service. And if they are dialing from a prepaid cell phone, there are, might be some cell phones that can't access 211, but they can dial 1-800-650-HELP. Help, okay. All right. That's Anything right. that they need to know specifically about using 211 um, other than just calling? Yeah, well, we service Lucas, Wood, Ottawa, Erie, and Hancock counties. We're 24 7, so at any time of the day, even during the holidays. On a holiday, they can call really? us. Really? Yeah. Even mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day? Correct. Mm -hmm. And they'll get a live person. They won't get a voicemail or um, or they'll have to leave a name or number. So they'll be able to speak to somebody. Um, people can also access our online database through unitedwaytoledo.org. Click on the 211 button and find help. And people can also um, look up some information there as well. I always encourage more to dial 211 because sometimes um, we can help through a situation if people are struggling and we can probably help problem solve depending yeah. on, on what the situation is and probably provide a little bit more options. Okay. All right. And yeah. what I love about 211 is that it's not just for those problems or those crises that people might have. You know, you can call 211 if you want to go volunteer. You can call 211 if you're thinking about going back to work and you need to find daycare for your child. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, All those you, can, things. you can call 211 if you think your son or daughter might need some additional help with schoolwork or your parent was just diagnosed with a significant um, illness that you want some support on. Um, it's for, you know, if you want to help in the community, I think about um, the, the word help is a four digit, four letter word. The word mm -hmm. help is a four letter word. But in this case, it's a three digit number and people can just call 211. Maricel has got a great team of people who like she said, live 24-7, answer the phone, and really help people navigate through life's journey. And that's what it's there for. It's a value add that we provide. That's such a good, it's such good information that you provide because I do think that people tend to think of 211 as the place you go when you need help. Um, I know that's what always comes to my mm -hmm. mind first when someone says, oh geez, I, I, I need this service or that. I'll say, call Maricela at 211. But it's important to know that you provide a much broader service than that. Correct. Yeah. E even within 2-1-1, we have a little bit, um, we have additional programs that help access other services. So we have like our free tax preparation program that's yeah. coming up soon. Mm -hmm. So around January, I would encourage people to dial 2 one where people can get their taxes done for free. People save from 250 to $600 to get their taxes done. And this is money that they can put back on their pack in their pocket. And at the same time, through 2 one one we're helping them connect to financial literacy classes, but money management, financial coaches. Because when people get the return back, it's it's nice to have that additional help to plan and move forward mm -hmm. yeah. and, and help them become a, yeah, financially be, stable. You're absolutely right. For some people, that's the biggest single deposit, that you know, sing, single lump sum that they're going right. to have all year. Mm -hmm. that's, re that's really true. Yeah. Is, are you still training for folks who want to be volunteer tax preparers? Yes. Right now, we're actually recruiting volunteers and just if somebody's interested in preparing taxes or just being involved with the program, again, I would encourage them to dial 211 when we can get them connected. Mm -hmm. okay. and and last year we helped in this program that Maricel is referring to more than 3,000 households. And wow. when you think about how 3,000 households 
then they receive more than $4 million back in tax refunds and tax credits. That's a significant infusion of economic development dollars. To this community. To Absolutely. This community. Absolutely. Right. And what, yeah. we learn, what we know is that most of the, um, those that we help use those dollars to pay down debt, to fix the car, yeah. to for basic household needs. And so those dollars stay here locally and it advances their family's life. Uh -huh. Not just for that moment, but for uh -huh. a long for time. For a long time, for a long time. It could be the thing that changes mm -hmm. the life for, you know, for a very long time, absolutely. And again, that is free. When, does, when do those um, services start, Maricela? For the free tax preparation, for the free yeah. and that would start in January. In we would January. start scheduling appointments. Mm -hmm. yeah. So people would be able to call and we would set them up at a location with a volunteer that's certified by the IRS to get their taxes done. And it's nice because some people will receive their W-2, they get off their shift at midnight, they want their taxes done the next day because they want their money as soon as possible. Right. So they can get off their shift at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and dial 2 on one and get that appointment scheduled for the next day. For available. the next day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you noticed that there's been an increased um, request for your services? We've, um, for 2012, we took a little over 91,000 requests as a whole. Um, and so far for this year, we've taken 80,000 calls, 867, well, contacts actually. So we're kind of pacing the same. Mm -hmm. um, we take an average of 250 to 500 calls a day, depending on the day. So mm -hmm. during tax season, up to 800 calls a day. No kidding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. And what I love is the care and the compassion that the staff who answer the phone at 211 handle each call. You know, each call, as Maricela said early on, is answered live, but with such care and compassion. You know, they work to find out a little bit of information about the situation, and then a variety of different databases, or data information is then looked up, and then my callers are trained to say, what else can we help? Right. And then, if necessary, can we follow up with you? Uh -huh. And there are powerful examples of how that one call to 211 have changed people's lives, not just for that day, but for their life moving forward. And I think there's terrific um, power in every donor knowing, to United Way of Greater Toledo, for every donor to know that you make available this information referral line that's then available for all of us to use all the time. All the time. Free. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you a few questions. You sit right there. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, but I, you know what? Since we have you at the table, and this mm -hmm. is the first time you've been here, yeah. um, we have, Bill Kitson was here an awful lot when he was here, this show, the station knows Bill Kitson well, mm -hmm. and I would really like the opportunity for people to get to know you just a little better. So what is it that, that you want to do with this United Way? You know, this United Way is strong. As I mentioned in the previous segment, it's 95 years old. We're focused on the right things, education, income, and health. I think the next step for this United Way, in fact, I know it is, is to put a stake in the ground for where do we want to be as a community three, five, seven, ten years from now on those big issues that are thorny and stubborn that only by working together we get after them. And so I, the next part of this work is that in May of 2014, we're going to announce big, bold goals, put a stake in the ground. What do we mean when we say we want all kids to succeed? What are the benchmarks that we're going to measure? Of course, working in partnership with Aspire, with our other nonprofit funded partners, but this United Way is poised for terrific results in the community with our partnerships of corporations, of individuals, of the nonprofit and government sectors to just advance our work. That's why I joined this United Way. Um, this is my 17th campaign, but I love this community. It is poised for growth. This is a cool community. This is a really great community, mm -hmm. and we don't give ourselves the kind of credit that we really deserve as mm -hmm. a community. It's a great place to live, and many of us could live lots of other places, and we choose to, to live here mm -hmm. just because it is such a great community. But having said that, the problems are increasing. The difficulties in living in this community for many are increasing. The, 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 um, pregnancy rate for teens is still mm -hmm. at a rate that mm -hmm. is fairly alarming. The number of people who are living below the poverty level here mm -hmm. is still at a rate that's fairly alarming. Are you prepared to address those issues aggressively? Yes. Um, and together with our volunteers and staff, you know, I think the, the, the thing that I bring to the table is this notion and the real work and real results of partnership. These are the things that you only get after in partnership. And so how do we bring our solution teams, our nonprofit partners together, the school districts, government together to say, we have an issue. And what I love is 
here having moved into this community, the community knows we have an issue, they want to get to work. Yeah. So we have a number of corporations, a number of volunteers and other um, partners who recognize that there's an issue but want to solve it. And not solve it just for the day, but put lasting change on it. And then how do we bring smarter ways of delivering those services? And that's already happening. So my job really is to carry on what's already been happening and then move it forward at a much higher level. Um, and so that we just kind of propel ourselves to the next to, to the next thing. Schools as Hubs program are, is working out? It is well. working. Is it? It, let me give you an example. At, quickly, you got to do it quickly. Okay, I will. At Pickett, they didn't have anything after school in 11-12 for on any of their students. Now they have dozens of programs, not only for the kids that go to Pickett, but also for their families. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I really hope that you come back and talk I to us more about United that. Way. And Monty Sala, thank you so much. But um, we want people to remember three little numbers. And what are they? 211. 211. That's right. Thank you so much. We will be back in just a moment. Please join us.